Steve Mignani here for Astor Auctioneers and the Great Texas Mopar Horde Auction event with item number 221. This is a 1969 Dodge Coronet 500 two-door hardtop. Uh, nice solid fenders on this one. A little bit of, uh, you know, garage rash happening right here, but the magnet wants to stick high and low. And I dare say this is the original butternut yellow paint. Now let's take a peek under the hood, and of course as a coronet it has the flat hood, not a Super B, but again this is the bones of a Super B should you want to build a clone. Okay, under the hood we have, okay, 318 two barrel, uh, it is a factory air conditioning car, manual drum brakes, power steering, and I like this, this is the 26 inch wide Hemi spec radiator with the 059, and this radiator is actually interchangeable with certain Hemi applications, wink, wink. Uh, but again, nice firewall on this, great inner fenders, no signs of rust or corrosion, even the battery tray is in really nice shape. These often are rotted away from acid. Uh, the grill is looking pretty darn good. Yep, Coronet 500. The bumper is pretty decent. Uh, as we make our way down the driver's side of the car, let's check the quarter down low, or the fender, and the magnet wants to stick. That's great. The trim is pretty decent. Coronet 500, of course, the top level for the Coronet, uh, short of the RT, of course. Uh, the door is beautiful down here. Nice stuff. Let's open that door and peek inside. And there is the column shifted automatic. Uh, this one has uh, split buckets. So you call that the, the buddy seat with the fold down center console. Um, AM radio still in place. Thumb wheel radio, that one is called, because of the way the buttons, or the thumb wheels work to uh, change channels. Uh, quarter panel on this, quite nice. Down low, a little bit of a hole here. You can kind of see right there. Yeah, a little hole, but again, the magnet sticks, so there's no Bondo in here. First generation rust, nobody's been in here trying to cover anything up, that's cool. This was a vinyl roof car, and sure enough, here's a little bit of rust on the seam where the two roof parts went together. It's not a big deal to repair. Uh, I'd rather see that than, uh, than a larger hole. Quarter panel's looking good all the way down here. Texas suntan, that's not rust, that's simple stuff. You just hit that with the DA, prime it and paint it, you're good. Down low on the quarter panel. Okay, a little bit of, uh, I can see some bubbling here, so the quarter needs some, needs some help, but again, no holes, no perforations, and yes, quarter panel extensions are readily available from the reproduction aftermarket. Uh, the tail on the Coronet 500 is this uh, stamping of aluminum. It's in pretty good shape, a little dingled right there, but not so bad. Rear bumper is straight, looking good. Been pulled a little bit, easily repaired, and that plate is a Texas plate. There you go. 1990, last time this was on a road, BCB33M. Trailer hitch, maybe it did some trailer towing in its days. Passenger side quarter panel, looking okay. Again, a little bit of uh, Bubble through right here, yeah. Again, quarter panel extensions would be uh, needed, but I love how the magnet sticks. Once again, nobody's been in here trying to hide anything. This is honest. So again, you know what you're getting. Uh, eight and three quarter rear axle, nice to see that. 69 was one of the first years when you might get the eight and a quarter, which would have a flat face here with some holes, but that's the eight and three quarter. It's a stronger, tougher axle, good piece. Quarter panel looks good. I've always loved these deltoid shapes here on 68 and nine coronets. Beautiful. Uh, down low. Nice and solid. The magnet likes to stick. A little bit of a bubble right there, but otherwise not so bad. And keep in mind, at any moment you can freeze this video for a closer look on um, any detail you want to look at. Can we open this door? No, it's frozen. Okay. But the door is looking really good. Very solid. Again, no holes, no rust. Magnet sticks. The rocker is also quite nice. No issues there, and I can feel all the way down. It's beautiful down the bottom. The tuck under is also solid, not messed with, no rust. Uh, the bottom of the fender right here, beautiful. The fender attracts the magnet really nicely right there. It sticks beautiful, no problem. The Pentastar is missing, no problem. You can get those reproduction. Coronet 500, and down here, again, a beautiful front clip, rust-free stuff. So that's the story of item 221, a 1969 Dodge Coronet 500 Tudor hardtop. Either restore it or build it up into a Super B clone. You choose.